Late in the night on September 21, 2023, officers from the Shawano County Sheriff's Office in Wisconsin were notified about a 911 call. The caller notified dispatch that he was riding a bike when two older men operating an UTV had just ran him over. The caller indicates this allegedly resulted in a broken ankle. One officer heads directly to the injured man's location to administer first aid, while another officer attempts to find the hit-and-run suspects while blasting rap artist Nelly, Tupac, and schoolboy Q on his radio. Within 10 minutes of the call being made, the officer finds and confronts the two men in the UTV. Sean, I'll need to return him on portable with him. Hi. How you doing? Good. Where are you guys coming from? We just came from uh, Bowler over there. Okay. Head home. Okay. Did you come across the bridge at all? Yep. Okay. So back by Regina, I guess there was a guy that was hit by a side by side. Really? Yep. So was it you guys? It, I'll tell you it was. And I stopped and I asked him how he's doing. Okay. He's like, he's, he's, he, he bumped my foot. And I was like, okay, you know. And okay. I, I stopped there and he's like, okay. And then he just laid down and said, okay, we'll see you later. Okay. So it was you guys though? It was, uh, it was me. Okay. Give me one second, I'll be right back with you guys, okay? Okay, I'll be here. Shortly before the officer walks back to his cruiser to share his newfound information, the other officer finds the injured victim. Unfortunately, access to a body cam recording of this officer's interaction with the victim is not available. However, a police report says this officer noted the victim's injuries consisted of a, quote, left ankle that looked to be crushed and had significant bruising throughout his left leg. Good. Oh, for real. You got a driver's license on you, man? Yes, I do. Yeah, I, we came across the bridge, and I seen something, and I thought, holy crap, what was that? What was that? And uh, so it was I stopped. Like a bear at first. Okay. Yeah, and I stopped, and we backed up, and I says, well, what, well, what's going on? And he's like, you ran over my foot. I'm like, okay, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then he just, like, laid down and just, like, snuggled up like, I, it was weird. It okay. Was that he just laid down and I'm like, you're okay? And he just like, yeah. And he just laid there and, okay. I mean, it's not like I smoked him or anything. Mm, he yeah, just, no. He just laid down and okay. like, okay, and I'm like, all right. He, because I, I didn't want to, you know, if something happened, mm -hmm. I didn't want to leave them. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so. Okay. Are you aware that side-by-sides, ATVs are not allowed on this trail at all? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I that's am. an issue we got too, okay? Yeah. I, I hear you. I, I'm not going to bullshit you and say, hey, I got my chainsaw in the back and I'm, you know, clearing mm -hmm. the trails or anything. I, you know, I just. Okay. It's just something I like to do. I don't want to, you know, run on the trail, you know, the highways mm -hmm. sometimes. It's just like, I just like... No, it's, it's a nice drive through here, but... Yeah. yeah. So, you got your driver's license on you? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Is he okay? I mean, you know... As far as I know, it sounds like he's okay, but we're trying to figure it all out, so... Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I stopped and I asked him how everything was going, and you know, because mm -hmm. it was just weird. Mm -hmm. It was a very weird situation. Awesome. Okay. I'll be right back with you guys then. Okay, thanks. 515 ambulance is on route. 10 4 he's on the brink of passing off from pain. 10 4 Ambulance going to be able to get to where you're at on trail. Yeah. 515 ambulance ETA is about 2 minutes. 10 4 thank you. My lights are on. So we should go see me down the trail. 10 4 I saw a 20 channel. I got a 27 and a 29 for the UTV occupants. I'm thinking slightly. Ten four. I'll get to you here shortly. I guess if you want to start that process, please. Ten four. Fifteen to twenty. Did he admit to being the driver of this incident? Affirmative. Police reports share that the victim was taken to a nearby hospital shortly after being checked out by EMTs. 
Soon after, this officer questions the suspects further about the incident. Okay, Stephen, there's your driver's license back. Thank you, sir. And there's your Alan. Thank you. Is is he okay? I, you know, I... we got an ambulance going to him right now. It sounds like he's got some leg pain, but as far as that goes, we're trying to figure that out right now. Okay, it's... yeah, because I backed up and I, you know, because I, yes, I'm not supposed to be on here, mm -hmm. and he was there, and it was like I backed up because I, I didn't know what it was. So what are we do from here? Okay, so have you been drinking tonight? No. 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 Okay, I'm kind of getting a little odor of intoxicants coming off of you. No. That's you? Yeah. Okay. Do you mind if I run you through fields, check that out, make sure you're okay to drive? I prefer not to, but if you have to. Okay, um, I mean, with what's happened at this point, I would like to, just to make sure that you're okay to drive. Okay. Okay? Yep. Okay. Can I have you step over here with me, ma'am? So, can I have you stand with your feet together, arms down by your side? Don't move from here unless I tell you to. Okay, do you understand that? All right. Okay. At this point, I'm just going to check your eyes. What I need you to do is follow my finger with just your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Yep. Okay. The officer repeats this HGN test a few times. Unfortunately, for a large portion of the test, the officer's arm blocks our visual of the suspect's eyes, making it difficult to see for ourselves how the suspect is performing the test. Are you following my finger? I'm trying to. With your eyes? Yep. I don't see your eyes moving at all. However, from what we can see, it appears the suspect is showing signs of horizontal gaze nystagmus, or HGN. HGN is the involuntary jerking of one's eye when it gazes side to side and could be a sign of impairment. Okay, you can relax for a minute. Thank you. Okay, so this next test is going to be the walk and turn. So, I'm going to have you stand with your feet together again, arms down by your side. What I need you to do is imagine a straight line going from you to my squad. Straight line, doesn't turn or anything, straight line. Can you imagine that for me? Yeah. Okay. What I need you to do is place your left foot on that line. So take your left foot now and place it on that line. The officer notes in his police report that the suspect had stepped to the right with his right foot during this portion of the test, after being told to put his left foot on the imaginary line. While the report does not definitively say that this was a sign towards the suspect's possible intoxication, it is still mentioned, along with other missteps we will highlight on screen. Yeah. And then place your right foot in front of that foot. Heel the toe, like this. Okay. You can do that now. Just once? Just put your left foot on the line, and then place your right foot in front of that foot, heel to toe on that line. Left foot? Left foot on the line, right foot, heel to toe. Heel to toe. Okay, keep your arms down by your side and stand there. Don't move until I tell you to. Do you understand that? Yep. Okay. And then when I say begin, what you're going to do is take nine heel to toe steps across that, along that line. When you get to nine, take a series of small steps to turn, and take nine more heel to toe steps back across that line, okay? All right. Do you understand that? Yep. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. When you get to nine, take a series of small steps like this to turn, and then take nine heel little steps back across that line. One, yep. two, three, until you reach nine. Okay. Do you understand? Yep. Okay, so as you're doing this, count every step out loud, eyes on your feet at all times, keep your arms down by your sides, yep. and do not stop until you finish. Do you understand that? Okay. Okay, you may begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. You finish? That was nice, right? Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Next test, a one-leg stand. What I'm going to have you do is stand again with your feet together, arms down by your side. Don't move from here until I tell you to. Do you understand that? All right. Okay. So for this test, what I'm going to have you do is pick up either leg. Five, doesn't matter. Five, either one of your choice. Yeah. Keep pro Pick it up approximately six inches from the ground. Keep it parallel to the ground and count out loud in the following matter. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and so on. Until I tell you to stop. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. So as you're doing this, watch your raised foot at all time, count out loud, keep your arms by your side, and do not stop until I tell you to. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. You may begin. One, 
Okay, man, you can stop there. Okay. Okay, so at this point, I do believe you're under the influence of something that's causing you to be impaired. Are you willing to do a PBT just so I can, just to prove that it's alcohol, not no other kind of drugs or anything like that? Um, it can't be used against you in court or anything like that. It's no, just. I'd rather not. You'd rather not? Yep. Okay. So at this time, you'll be under arrest for your OWI of the side by side, okay? Okay. Do you have anything on you that's gonna stick me, stab me, poke me? I got a knife. Okay. Do you want to leave that in the side by side for me? I can. Okay. And then, well, anything else that you don't want to go with, just leave in the side by side, I guess, at this point. Okay. Okay. Now, so you come back with the car with me. So, he can drive it home, or...? Is he under the influence also? He said he's been drinking, so... I... I don't think he had much to drink, or... I don't know. Okay. Well, we can figure that out in a minute, man. I'm just gonna talk with this other guy quick. Okay. Okay. We can take a Medi-5 then right away. Okay. So we'll do the DNR. It'll be DNR, OWI, obviously, but then, of course, the hit and run of stuff and everything else we'll address. When the officer says DNR, he is likely referring to the Department of Natural Resources, since standard law enforcement officers typically don't get involved in recreational parks and trails. A DNR conservation warden will usually have deeper knowledge of the recreational safety laws that were broken. Later on, one of the officers gets in contact with a conservation warden to discuss those possible charges. Sounds good. All right, go for it. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, you're under arrest. Okay. You're gonna come with me, so. Sir, so what's your plan for the rest of the night here? My uh, plan? Yep. Are the keys in there? Okay, Steve. So, I, I just... Okay, put your hands behind your back for me. Okay. Just hang out right here for me. You Have you been drinking tonight at all? I had a couple. If I can give you a ride, can I get you back home? Is that something we can do? Sure. All right. You just want to hang tight here. here. I'll just put them up front for you. Here. here. That way we can get off. Ooh, Roll first, that. first for me. Oh, that's not bad then, if it's been this long. <laughs> I'm 60 years old. And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put a belt around your waist since I got them up front. Okay. You want me to cut that out? Yep, just give me a second here. Where are we going? We'll be going to Shano. Oh, poop. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, it's tight oh, back my, there. My room back here, is it? No. No big fat guy. <laughs> okay, thanks, man. Okay, I'm just gonna reach around, put the seatbelt on if I can, or if you can grab it. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Yeah, if you can hold it there, I'll come around and grab it. Okay, thanks. This officer does a quick look over and takes pictures of the UTV itself. The vehicle will be towed, likely due to there being no able-bodied person to drive it. It locked. I gotta go all the way back and reset that. There you go. Perfect. Oh, the buckle go now. Oh, there it is. There you go. Now, what I'm gonna have you do is hop out for me, okay? And then I'll have you come to the back of my car, and then I'll give you that ride back home here shortly, okay? okay. You have any knives, guns, nothing on your person? Do a stick poker hurt me? Nothing like that? No. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and walk over here for me. Can you put him in my car, please? Just in the back passenger side. I'm gonna give him a ride. Yeah. Go ahead and follow this deputy for me, please. Come back here, man. Watch for the tree right here. Let's have you hop in there for now. Interrupt to Travel Medical Center. Yeah, there's Squeeze. Uh, can we move that seat ahead or not? No, that's the whole cage. It doesn't go anywhere. Uh, oh, take your time, man. If you gotta sit sideways in there, sit sideways. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna roll the window down a little bit for you, just so if you need anything, you can yell at us. Okay. 
The suspected driver of the UTV appears to breathe heavier here. He is possibly stressed from the situation that is unfolding in front of him. Oh. What's up? Uh, I got a floor in the... Okay. We'll worry about that in a little bit, man. Okay. I got a question. Is, is my phone in the, the side-by-side? I can't check my pockets now at this point, man. I thought you grabbed it. I think I did, too, but it would be in the center console there. Give me a second here. Okay. Your name's Alan, right? Hey. You're not in custody, man. I just want to talk to you with what happened tonight, okay? What's going on? What happened today? Well, we were coming back from the bowler, and when we crossed the bridge, yeah. there was a, a thud or whatever. I, I could not see anything. I, I thought there was like a board was too low or something on the bridge. Okay. And Steve said he thought he saw a bear. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So you guys didn't see nothing on the road or on the trail that you were riding on? I, I didn't. So is Al's not going to be able, I got to come get it later? We are having it towed at this point, so. Oh, poop. Oh, yeah, we can't just leave it here, so. Yep, I hear you. Do we have an option who could tow it? It's Krause out oh. of Wittenberg. Okay, because I... Eric Kesson out of Burnhamwood is uh, somebody I know that might be able to help out. That's if I have an option. Okay, so I'm going to read you this, and then I'm going to ask you a question, and I need your answer yes or no on this, okay? So, you have been arrested for a violation of the intoxicated operation laws, and under Wisconsin implicit consent provisions, I am required to read this to you. The test results of the fact of you refusing testing can and may be used against you in court. Will you submit to an evidentiary chemical test of your blood? Yes or no? Uh, no. I no? No. Okay. So then we're going to have to go to the house. I'm going to have to take you to the jail. You're going to sit in there and I'm going to have to get a search warrant for your blood at this time, okay? Alright. 40, we're going to be impounding the uh, UTV. And there's no way I can get the Casanato to do it. No, not at this time. You will have criminal DNR charges. I'll come around and check, make sure you got your phone on you. This is my backpack with this one. Yep, right there. Go in. Because the suspect refused to consent to a chemical breath test, a blood draw search warrant was requested and approved by a judge. How do you feel about it, you know? Alright. You gotta do what you gotta do. Right? <laughs> Some rain, you can handle it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to bleed fast. <laughs> it happens. It's being you shy. Know, what are you trying to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make sure the test is right. The vampires for a reason. <laughs> All right. Ouch. I know. I don't even have a lollipop for you. <laughs> oh, what? What? I know. It's just wrong. <laughs> I'm never going to do this again if I don't even have a lollipop. Well, good. That's what we want. According to police reports, the test recorded a blood alcohol content of 0.118%, which is more than 0.03% over the legal limit. The driver of the suspected UTV likely spent at least three days in jail before paying a $500 cash bond, along with a signature bond of $5,000, meaning if they failed to show up to court, they would then have to pay that amount as a penalty. They were also ordered to maintain absolute sobriety, to avoid any contact with the victim, and were restricted from traveling outside of the state without court approval. According to court records, he faces charges that consist of failure to take an alcohol test, operating UTV without each person wearing a seatbelt, operating UTV on non-designated trail, operating UTV without required headgear, operating UTV in a careless way, operating UTV TV and causing injury, operating UTV with a pack over 0.08%, operating UTV and causing injury with a pack over 0.08%, first degree recklessly endangering safety and failure to report the UTV accident. As of editing this video, this case is still being decided by the court system, as the suspect has pled not guilty to all charges. The final pretrial date should be held on June 24, 2024. The passenger on scene was not suspected of any wrongdoing. It's summertime here in Minnesota, and that means peak ATV season. So wanted to post a timely video showing what can happen when mixing alcohol and an ATV. 
This incident happened on a public trail, but in most states, an injury crash with an ATV, even on private property, can result in criminal charges, especially if the driver is suspected of drinking. Be careful out there. So as funny as this was, I really don't want to see you again, okay, girl? <laughs> I thought she was talking to me at first. I don't want to see you again, <laughs>